Ivan. I'm Josue. I'm Daniela. I'm Enrique. I'm Emmalyn, and, and I'm, I'm going, going to share with you the stories of my fellow students. Words can be hurtful, sometimes even when you try to act like they don't affect you. Many teens get along by calling each other names, and when someone gets offended, they say we play around like that chill. Bad language and behavior are trendy. People might not want to speak up about how words hurt them because they feel embarrassed since everyone talks like that today. I've been called a slut because of the way I dress by people I thought were close to me and I act like it didn't affect me, but deep inside I felt broken. I have a learning disability. I was put in all special classes in third grade and all the students in the normal classes would look at us weird. And some of the kids in class would ask, why are you here? Why do you go to stupid classes? Why are you stupid? I never knew how to respond. I was always ashamed of who I was because I was different and that I needed help. I was sexually assaulted, something that I wouldn't wish on anybody. I was diagnosed with post-traumatic stress disorder and started to self-harm. I became very sensitive and quiet. I told one of my internet friends who was close to me what happened. I did not want her to tell me how sorry she felt. I just wanted someone to listen to me. She responded to me by saying, it's the way you were dressed that caused this. To say I was hurt would be an understatement. I felt horrible. I'm not friends with that person anymore. I did forgive her, but I lost all my trust in her. My scars will always remind me of what I went through. Words can be a powerful weapon. They can construct or destroy a person in seconds. You always hear people say, don't judge a book by its cover. Self-esteem needs care and not some judgment by someone who just looks at the surface, who doesn't know the book, and most important, what's inside. People are like that though. They will say that the book is bad, that the cover should be prettier. They don't appreciate the pages full of sadness, happiness, mystery, and the madness or will make the book beautiful. I was really sick when I was in the fifth grade. I would get bullied about how I looked or what I wear. I remember I would walk into school and kids would say I looked ugly or poor or say you were the same stuff all the time or you smell bad. It hurts to remember the words they used towards me. That's when I started to become insecure about myself. I started to feel different about myself and everyone around me. Those words caused me to not be open to anyone. I wouldn't want to go back to those days where my whole life shut down. And I wouldn't want anyone to be in that position. The things that come out of your mouth affects other people's feelings. Insults, slurs, gossip, epithets. They undermine me, but they won't define me. Words have power. I have power. 